Welcome to Stampscaping 101. Here I am doing a very light impression of the Seaside Cove onto this printable vinyl sticker paper. Now that I can see where some of the waveforms are, I'm applying this White Brilliance Pigment Ink. It's a water-based fast drain pigment ink onto this printable vinyl, and it sticks and dries on that surface just fine. Now that I've done that, and done some blocking out with that white, I'm stamping over the top of it with my impression now, the Seaside Cove Small. Now my little wave area is kind of lighter and not, it's kind of blocking out some of the holographic um, patterning. Cutting out this um, Seaside Cove, and the question is, is can we incorporate this, you know, pretty dynamic type of paper with this white cardstock below. That's what this experiment is all about with this scene. Okay, so now I'm stamping out um, impressions, very light impressions right now with the Tiny Rocks stamp. We're gonna try to make this area down below nice and sandy looking. Uh, going in with a little bit of a darker brown now um, on the left and right side. Kind of framing off that center area really nicely. And then I'm going in with the same color inks that I stamped out that imagery in, just to blend in some additional tone. Now, I'm using blue here because there's a lot of blues in that holographic vinyl, okay? So in order to make these two areas related a little bit more, I'm adding blue into the browns. Now these kind of jewel-toned, light-colored blues mix very well with brown, surprisingly, so I guess it's because the blues are a little bit more of a warmer tone blue. I'm not using like a navy blue or something like that. And these two um, parts right now are very unrelated, so I'm having to add in some additional tone here to kind of frame things off and make some air aspects of it darker to match the black impression of the Seaside Cove. I still didn't know if I can get this to work because those two areas still look very unrelated. Stamping out our subject matter here, our focal points, uh, the sea turtles, just in black ink. And I stamp those out right now so I can figure out where to stamp these leaves. Um, I'm gonna stamp them in two different um, colors, both eh, pretty dark green and black to get multiple colors in that area. Again, you know, that, that vinyl uh, holographic sticker paper has all the colors of the rainbow in it, so I just wanted to bring some additional colors down below, not to match it, but just to make it related to that um, holographic a little bit more, because there are greens, depending on what angle you're holding that holographic. Um, and we can have those greens in those um, bushes down below. Okay, now because I applied that Brilliance ink underneath the impression of the Seaside Cove, it allows me to use the colored pencil. I'm not really coloring the printable vinyl direct. I'm coloring the white Brilliance ink. Okay, so it really allows me to model the forms, um, to add shadows, and uh, kind of more of a three-dimensional feeling to that seaside cove up there. Okay, I want to incorporate that seaside cove in more, so I'm adding some black colored pencil in that lower section. I'm creating some shadows from uh, the waves that are crashing on the shore. Adding in a little bit more uh, variety of green with the uh, acrylic paint pen light green here on those green uh, leaves. And then, there's nothing that was terribly light and, you know, almost white in the vinyl, okay? I did have the Brilliance in there, but it was kind of a darker one. So I'm adding some white elements in the form of the Brilliance ink uh, and this white acrylic paint pen up above. Just to match the lighter value of that sandy area, okay? It doesn't look like the sandy area, but it just has that same white element. So see, those two areas are starting to look a little bit more incorporated. This is going to be a horizon card, so I'm stamping out uh, my images on the horizon there. I kind of blur out this image a little bit. I think I slipped or something. I moved it like a micro, I don't know, 30 second of an inch or something like that. 
And one thing that I cut out was I totally blurred a quote stamp directly onto that uh, back scene, so I just stamped it out on a separate piece of uh, paper and uh, glued it on there, taped it on there. Adding some color to these um, trees here. It's the mystic um, trees, right? And following suit with multiple tones of alcohol inks. Those impressions I made of those um, trees were um, in water-based ink, so I can use alcohol inks. And then, just like we used um, some colored uh, paint pens down below, I'm using some colored paint pens in the trees here. This one's green, and you'll see me use some white, so I'm bringing that white element up into those trees. So again, we have this white element going on in the trees here in the background, also on the waves, and in the foreground. So you give all three of those areas some visual continuity with texture. We have the white brilliance ink in the lower section, so we're adding it up to this upper section to again give it something in common with those other areas, giving the whole card much more of a visual continuity. Doing some tweaks, adding some little bit of a darker areas in the shadows. And I think that came together pretty well. See, you have that shimmering uh, ocean surface there, and it changes uh, different colors. And then you have this lower section down here with just, you know, a sandy area, not so kind of vibrant with uh, holographic patterning. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.